Jane are the kind that are gritty and tasty and come from the sea. Well, think again. Here in Venice Beach, California, the mussels are bigger than any you'll ever catch in the deep blue. I've got the power! This freaky California Muscle Beach, in full view of a large spectating crowd, is the place to flex and flaunt whatever it is you've got, no matter where you're from. Is it a great place to pump iron? I mean, why here and not a gym? Well, because it's like a really good atmosphere, isn't it? World famous Muscle Beach, isn't it? Well, it's nice to be out in the sunshine. The fresh air is good. But there's no greater feeling than have a soft ocean breeze off the warm Pacific coming across your body as you might be pumping out that last curl that you have to get. You can get a suntan while you're doing it. Gym's too crowded, too much of a scene. But this is kind of a scene. I mean, look at the crowd that's around here now. Is it about posing or is it about working out? It's just about working out. I mean, this is an attraction, yeah, but it's just about working out. I'm not here to display anything. But some have been displaying all since Muscle Beach was founded way back when. Muscle Beach originated in the early 30s by a government work project on the sands of Santa Monica, California. The first time I hit Muscle Beach, I was 14 years old in 1947. So that tells you how old I am today. In the 60s, the coolest fitness center in town moved to Venice Beach, where it's had a half a million dollar facelift and is now a major tourist attraction. As a tourist, you may come down, you know, for $3, you can have a workout at Muscle Beach. Have your picture taken working out down there and really enjoy it and have a piece of history of where American bodybuilding came from. Even the king of beefcakes, Arnold Schwarzenegger, could be seen working out by the waves, although he's not quite the hero he was back then. What do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger's done for bodybuilding? I think he was good when his era was around. He was really good. He was impressive. He was a great athlete, and he still is, but he's no longer the favorite. There's guys nowadays who look a lot better than he does, but that's just because of the change in times. Different drugs, different diets, different opinions and philosophies about the whole sport. There may be new pet pills and programs to protect those pets, but what you still need is good old-fashioned patience. How long will it take to get, like, really big? Uh, probably about two or three years, I should think, for me. It takes a long time. To gain a lot of mass, you need to eat about five meals a day, every day for a number of months. So after all that sweat and soy protein, you not only have a body most people dream of, but the added bonus of those L.A. babes. What are the girls like that come down here? Uh, well, they're really pretty, most of them, and they're really outgoing compared to England, you know? They don't mind asking you for your photo and, you know, just having a laugh. Lots of, can I feel your muscle? Um, well, yeah, if you get lucky, you know what I mean? You come down here in the morning when there's no big guys around, sometimes you get it. They want to pull your shorts off. They, they grab, they want to grab everything. They want to feel it, see if it's real. No, and as, soon, as soon as they find out it's real, it's like, oh my God, it moves. Because <laughs> they really don't think that we're human sometimes. And we tell them, yeah, we are. Well, what about the girls down here? Do girls come in here and pump? Yeah, they do. We need more girls down here pumping. Do you think girls at pump are sexy? I think so. I think they're very sexy. Describe what they're like. What do they look like, those girls? They look like fine little buff women. <laughs> you know, they look like you. I look like a fine buff woman? Yeah. Well, you use a little, work. little work. On that note, I set to it. Let's see if this is as tough as it looks. Don't listen to them, Katie. We like you just the way you are. On next week's program, the wonderful, gorgeous, and near-perfect Katie spins some discs with the eccentric LA DJ Jay Thomas, and we'll be previewing the Gibson Glover blockbuster Lethal Weapon 3. Be there.
Discover the light, fresh sensation of Bounty Ice Cream Snack. Coconut, ice cream, chocolate. Try a little taste. Bounty Ice Cream Snack, the taste of paradise. So, it's more as a big interview. The chairman thinks this boy could go far, yeah. but not if he takes his dandruff with him. Dandruff? Well, I wash my hair every day. <laughs> you wash your hair eight days a week with your frequent shampoo. Won't work like this. Ordinary frequent shampoos just rinse flakes away, but the flakes come back. With head and shoulders, the dandruff is gone. Head and shoulders frequent? Yeah, I use it every day. But you don't have dandruff. That's my ah. boy. Head and shoulders frequent, because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Bright.